Yo. It's gonna be Power Yo Luigi 10, 10, 10 video. Um, let me show y'all. I'm gonna do two builds on raids. And then I'm gonna do PvP. And we're gonna call it that. Um let me strip her down so y'all so y'all her skills. For anybody who don't know her skills. I do got her special two out of five because you know this is my baby right here. And plus her shit hit hard, even though it don't not full screen, it still hits pretty damn hard. So yeah. Here's the stats. Her kill is a run car, so you know. She's useful. Preferably a strong attack damage, straight up shit devastation. Twimps on long reach, twimps on havoc, frenzy, sprinter, long stride. So yeah, you know, not the highest stats in the game, however, still very high in my books. This is pretty good to me. Um I can give her up to a hundred and fifty spiritual pressure. Um what we gonna do? Is, um, I'm gonna do the Grimjaw raid and we're gonna run the, my favorite type of build on her is Sar. You know, she's a sad character. I like the Sar build on her the best because she is very fast. And if you blow through the mobs with her speed, you gotta wait for the cooldown. Like, you actually gotta wait for the cooldown. It's not looking good. It's best to, um, it's best to, uh, have a strong attack ready versus blowing through the mob and not having nothing have to rely on her normal attacks. So yeah, I like Sar. It's just of course, you know, the sad hits harder. Um so we're gonna do the script jar right right here. Um we're gonna run this build. No boosters, no friends, it's just her. She does have Long stride, which will make her even faster than she already is. Like running through the rooms, like I can breeze through these rooms. It's just, I'm gonna try to not breeze through them so quick so y'all can see her gameplay. She's got a four hit normal attack damage. She got a four hit strength with her normal attacks. Her first shot attack, first shot attack hit four times. Her second hit eight times, and then her third hit six times. Her special hit four times. I got the numbers memorized because you know I use her a lot. She she, she go crazy. And you can see she running through these through this raid pretty easily. Like and I said, it's not the full side build. This is just sad. The Fringe Bianca link has a little side end. It's just it's not the same as um having full side characters at twenty percent. So yeah, um. She's a pretty outdated character. However, I love her. A lot of people don't really prefer to use her nowadays because of Toshiro. Like, Toshiro is their go-to character. This is my go-to character. Even though I don't got Toshiro on his account, she would still be my go-to character. I like her. She's a lot more fun. Mainly, it's the long shot that makes her more fun. It's just, uh, I'm not going to knock Tosh. Tosh is fucking incredible. Like, real dope. Is your Richie man? She she to me is a dope character. Like her only flaw to me is not having a full screen special. It's not full screen. That's a big letdown. And um it ain't nothing we can do about it. Cause Kayla didn't give her blast zone. They should have gave her blast zone. They didn't they gave her this amazing special animation. She looked like she cracked a real large area. Yeah, it's only a small little crack on the ground. Like, I don't understand. So we get the ball stream already. She's just so fast, man. Uh, let me show you her special. Look at this shit, dude. Fucking incredible. And it's so small of an AOE effect. Look at this. How is that this? Like, what? Out for you. I don't know why they didn't give her full screen special after making this amazing special. It just don't make sense to me, man. And 
I don't say nothing we can do about it though because they didn't ever blast them to at least try to fix it. So that's the Sharp build. It's pretty good to me. I'm gonna switch to the Sad build. I only got one of my Sad Links at 200. I got pretty outdated Sad Links. I haven't pulled a power character on this account since I got hurt, which was last year in September. So yeah, it's been a light. Well, actually, I just bought the. Actually, no. Correction. I just pulled me the rose from the Paris of the ticket. It's just that's still not pulling a new character. That's a, a ticket. That's different to me. So actually summoning it and pulling the character. Yeah, I haven't actually pulled a character with orbs since I pulled her. She was my last power character. So for me, she was a high priority character to get 10, 10, 10 since she's my most usable power character. I got her done. And um yeah, this was this is my baby right here, man. Like I said, she's a real strong character to me. It's just the special is a big downside. So as you can see, look, 200, 150, 150, 150, and that's basically it. Like, I could get rid of Friends Biak for a little size. Just, I'm going to go the full 20% way. Going to do this. Um, so now she got 85% strong attack damage. So she could hit even harder. Just as you see, she was blowing through those mobs like it was nothing anyways without uh without full size. So she just she'll be overkill for full size. The only downside is like I said earlier, is because I got all this power, once I go to the next mob, once I use all three strong attacks, I go to that last mob, I'm not gonna be able to do nothing. She don't got the massive AOE, even though she does get have she don't got the massive AOE that like some of these other characters got like Toshiro, Fulman, Ichiko, Gen, Shinji, Shinsui, like, you know what I'm saying, Blower Biaka. She don't got that huge AOE to hit multiple waves. Like she can hit like two waves, maybe. Maybe. It's just no more than that. Whereas some of them characters they can hit three. Probably a whole room. So the first mob. I think she just took out that first mob, second mob, third mob. Now I don't got no strong attack. I got to wait. So I took that out. Another mob. Like you see, like, it's not, it's not a, um, it's not the best build to me because of stuff like that. Like, I'm waiting to kill something. I mean, I can use my normal attacks. Just turn on my attacks. Don't hit nowhere near as hard as a strong attack, obviously. It's just, this is um her natural soul trait, strong attack damage. So all her power come from her natural soul trait. Oh, on this one, oh, it's underground. Um, it'd be good for PvP. Me personally, I don't use her in PvP like that. It's hard to use her. If I could find a way to use her, I definitely would. Definitely would. It's, it's hard to use characters like her due to their AOE. And then the poise factor of PvP now with these newer DR made of damage reduction characters. It's hard to get past that with characters like her. Like when I do PvP, I'm gonna put her against Yama. I don't know how good she's gonna do. Now that she's 10 10 10, I don't know how good she's gonna do. Like I, she might not even be able to get off a hit against Yama. If she can, that'd be great. Like I don't if she can hit him with her third, that is a successful fight to me. Because that's her most powerful attack. She could dish out a shit ton of damage during that. And um, it would just swing the battle my way early. Not enough to probably win. It's just, it's better than not having a chance at all with some of these other characters. We use them in PvP. The moment oil strong attacks get interrupted, you pretty much done. And that's the biggest downside with using like spiritual pressure based characters in PvP. The moment you use your strong attacks and you get interrupted, the fight is over. Like, Somebody like her going against Blower Retsu, she probably won't be able to do nothing with Retsu. She won't be able to do nothing with Retsu. I can't even say probably because not only does she not got attribute advantage, she don't got killer advantage. So it's just a big landslide with her. Versus with Yama, at least she got attribute advantage. So she'll do a bonus because of uh, red, Trump, and green. Um, I'm just going to run her alongside... Uh, my broken and my gin, and we're just gonna do five matches and call it that. Like like I said, 
she I don't expect that much. It'd be great if she can, cause like I tried her before and back then it wasn't all that. It's just, you know, that was back then. Maybe that's your teeth and can might be different. It's just I highly doubt it due to like I said, the the poise factor in PvP plays a big role. So it's hard to win if you don't got poise with SP character. Only character that can really do stuff is she kind of can pass you. That's because he has poise. So, um, yeah. So, she's going to go against Yama. I'm going to put her, I can make another team. I can put her on the side, too. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, like, there was a point in time where she actually was real good in PvP. Believe it or not, she was interrupted for Benichi, though, which is a uh, crazy feat. And then it seemed like Hillab either nerfed her or they gave Ichigo the priority to hit with his strong attacks again. Because there was a point in time where he actually, um, I do two matches with her in the lead and then I'll do the last two with her on the side. Um, there was a time where she was hitting him with her, with her third, hitting the whole team. And that was easily swinging the fight in your favor. If she didn't kill Ichigo, the Ichigo was pretty much done for. Especially with her having strong attack damage, like at the base, twenty five percent at that, so she can go up to a hundred percent with three twenty five percent limp. It was it was crazy back then. So, so the team man, I might just made a team right here. Okay, so we gonna fight this shoe person. Oh, they probably got red too, like everybody and their mama do. Um, of course. See how strong can I see their realm? We got a golden chappy. Ooh, got this fucking this thing, you know. That's it. I mean, hey, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. They read to Damn, they read to okay. I got Nori Tor. Mm. I don't know about their team. I mean, they got good items for sure. So let's go. This right here. Let's see what she can do. Like, like I said, I don't expect her to do nothing. It's just if she can hit him with her third, that's a big deal because I know she's going to do a lot of damage, especially because I got full side on her. I didn't even take it off. No matter I run a side on characters, even in PvP. Like, that's just how I play. I play different. Just, if she can hit him, that'd be great. I don't see her hitting him, though. Oh, they run a special strategy. She, probably, she might hit him. Simply because they run a special strategy. Did she just? She looked like she got out of, out of uh, her area, her normal area that she's supposed to be in. Wow, they got the special. That was, she did good. It's just like I said, that's because they were running a special strategy. Yama, he started off with his third. It was just a little delayed. So I, I ain't gonna count that one. Kill Retsu, man. Come on, broken. My broken weak as hell. I put three thousand stamp on him. <laughs> ah man, that's why he wasn't doing no damage. I gotta switch that build back. Like I tried that and it didn't work out. Like that's a bad build to have on him, especially when I um it wasn't really all that to begin with. So let's see if we can find another Yama. Hopefully the next Yama we find find a spiritual pressure. Uh I mean, strong attack damage strategy. Like this one. Because that's the most important one. I mean, like the special strategy is iffy because you can easily hit them sometimes. Whereas with the strong attack damage strategy, poise character do all their strong attacks. They can be stopped. And once they're done, they cut you down. Another special strategy. Version. Oh, man. This is not what I want. See, look, she took a lot of Yama health. A whole lot. So if she can hit them, it's just that's great. It's just that again, this team was running special strategy. It's not the same, man. Look at this. I'm getting chopped up. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? I need. I hope I can find a, a, a strong attack damage. Well, I said I was going to do two. I, I want to find her. I want to put her against a uh, strong attack damage team. Poise team, like, let me not say team, 
a strong attack strategy team. I want to put her against one of them so y'all can see. Because that's the most common thing I run into. I don't run into the special strategy when I play PvP that much. When I do, I beat it a lot. So to see somebody using the special strategy is like rare for me. Since these first two fights, that's been the case. Is this any different? Same team. Oh, this is different. So let's see what she do against Yama now. Match start. Yama, third, interrupt her. She still ain't touched him. She only did her second. And then she's dead. That was so, yeah, that's not going to work out in PvP for her. Her only doing one strong attack and then dying. Yeah, it's bad. So that's her in the lead. That's all, that's all the proof we need. Just one fight of her. Um... We'll fight for her. Um, is elite, and that's all I put for me. Now let's put her on the side. Let's go against this person right here. Let's see what she can do. I mean, like, I don't expect anything to be any different, especially with the way PvP is now. Like this whole poise, DR, flurry meta. Like if you can't hit them, it don't matter. Like that's all it is to it. Her activation time's not the fastest. Oh, she's going against Toast. This should be real bad. Let's take a shot how close she got to get. Toast did his third one shot her that quick. It's over. Oh, and I do got a pivot on her. It's just, it ain't going to matter. It, it'll be the same result. As long as I don't got damage reduction, I don't expect anything from her on her. So, and I'm not running a champion in no spiritual person character. Like, I don't see how people can do that. I'm, that's not me. Especially with her not having no status ailments. It's just a bad idea. Um, still. Well, I should do one more fight. I think I'm going to do just three more. Just to um, give y'all a good idea of how she's not going to work. <laughs> Cause that's, that's pretty much the case. She's not going to work in PvP at this rate. Like. Not right now. Maybe in the future she might have a, a role again. It's just with the current meta. Like I said, man, being this poise. Um, DR meta, man. It's, it's hard to win with a special special character. Now, it's like they want you to use damage reduction, poise, flurry characters. That's like the only way to win. For most people. Not me. I can still win. It. Other ways, it's just you know, most people, this is how they win. And um, it sucks because these matches sometimes take long. When you run, when you play like anybody else and y'all all got damage reduction on y'all characters and stuff, the matches take a while, man. Ooh, we got slow bomb. Not enough, though. Let me screenshot that, though. Evidence. I got close to being this person. <sighs> um, yeah, man. I mean, she's still an amazing character, though. And I know some people would say, well, she's shit at PvP, so she, 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 she just shitty all around. Like, I, mean, I don't look at it that way. And then um, I know some people are going to say, well, you know, she's just a lick on my toes. Like, oh, I mean, hey, that's you, man. I love you, OBG. Amazing character. If Guild Quest was still out, the one we had last week, I was using Guild Quest too, because she real good in Guild Quest, especially with her long stride and her power. She knocks out the waves and then runs to the next room. Like she does real good, man. Just I can't show that off due to the current Guild Quest not being all that. Can we get Soul Bomb? She got frozen. This is a pretty strong team, though, even though they average was pretty low. They average was real low. Like it was only like 1200. Where the wrench was strong. It touched probably that damage reduction. Like how some people play, they. You know, on the SP character, they run damage reduction in chat, which is like, okay. I mean, it works though, so you know, it must be doing something right, right? Um, do one more fight in the college video. Um, 
I'm still going to use her a lot, a whole lot. I don't see too many power characters catching my eye like her. The name besides Blower and Toshi, and that's only, for me, it's only because Toshiro Buset, to me, is similar to Full Green Ichigo's with the the third shot attack being pretty much, his is almost a full screen from Ichigo to end the full screen. From Ichigo at that second shot attack that goes out in front of him. Toshi's got the same thing, even though it's not as long, it's wider, so. Yeah, and then he got Sar, which is my favorite soul trait in the game. And then he also has Frenzy, which is my favorite skill in the game. So, yeah. I mean, the freeze is cool. It's just those snuggies. I like Toast, though. So, let's fight this person right here. Let's put her against Toast, which is going to be real bad. Let me put a Capricorn on her, though. See if that helped her live just a little bit longer. I highly, 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 highly doubt it. However, we are seeing... We'll see, we'll see, who knows. I know she really can't compete with Toast this shit for a purpose of the video. Showcase. Let's see. Maybe she'll drop it. Maybe. Maybe. I give her the 80 stamp Captain Coast. She got 2,000 HP. So, yeah, I don't got no golden power items for her to use. I do got a golden red champion. Just like I said, I'm not champion. No SP character. So this is her stats right here. With the 40 stamp Captain Coat. She still got pretty high SP to go wear SP. And she almost got 3,000 stamps. So she's still pretty good. It's just not, like I said, highly doubt she can do anything with Toast. It's the last fight. Call her a video. Let me know what y'all think of her. I tend to intend her power. I mean, like, the Ray, man. The Grim Jar Ray was just too easy for her. I don't think there's nothing else I could show. Maybe I could do the co-op. Actually, hold on. I could do a co-op read. I could bring one of my other accounts. And um, I'm going to run the SAR build, though. Look, she got mashed by Toast. She wasn't even a fight. Like, she couldn't even touch him. So, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. About to meet the mic. Because I was going to grab another phone and then let's go play co op. I got my phone. I was going to grab another phone, bring one of my other accounts and play co op. And I realized I had started a quest. And I wasn't about to quit the quest to save my soul ticket. I mean, to, uh, to go play co op. So I'm about to just join a random co op lobby. And um, I DC the room. Oh, yeah, let me go try our quality. I'm gonna cut, just cut the video. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty long. It's just you know, if you care about the character, you will watch it because I'm pretty sure not everybody got her 10 10 10 and they want to know. I, mean, I know other YouTubers who made videos of her a long time ago. I know she's outdated. I still like her, like I said, I still use her, like I said. So, that to me, um, hold on, let me get another phone, man, because I'm shocked. Oh, there we go. I say, damn, I'm shocking. Why you doing grip that raid, man? They know. Ain't nobody trying to back up that, that link. So, yeah. I just DC this one. This person. Let's go, bro. Me and you. Oh, she got with her build. Oh, she got the full sad build, so it might take a while. It's just, you guys can get a good glimpse of how powerful she is with this raid, though. The full sad. She don't got 150 SP either, so that's another thing oh my gosh this person got a purple chappy on each of you come on man they shouldn't even need help with an ichigo whatever ichigo or flurry i mean i know he not the greatest i love ichigo as my favorite character i know he's slow for sure, he's slow as fuck. 
It's just, he still gets hard. I got to acknowledge his power. He gets hard. Crash on me. I'm on my phone like to crash. Don't crash on me. Oh, come on, man. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't want to put y'all through this extra time. The video is already pretty long as it is. Um, hold on. <laughs> I'll try to show y'all. Full side of PvP in co op is like a uh, real bad for her. To me, like full side in general is real bad for her. Outside of PvP, especially now that she can't do anything to PvP, it's bad because she killed mobs too easily. And it's like you don't got no strong attack to do because her cooldown is not ready. So with this, <clears throat> full side build. She got the cooldown. She will kill the mob. Next wave. I really wish Guild Cuts was out. That'd probably be a good idea too for anybody who watches video that make YouTube videos. If you do a showcase of a Mouse Inside character, if Guild Quest is out and they can be used, do it in Guild and show them off in Guild Quest too. That way people can see how they play in Guild Quest too. Because I know that's a big thing nowadays, the Guild Quest. And uh, like I said earlier, she does real good in Guild Quest. Like she's a phenomenal character to use. It's mainly due to the long stride, honestly. Her downsides are special. Again, like I said before, it's that's her biggest flaw to me. So, hopefully, can I add stuff to our characters? They allow us to add skills to our characters. Like, only certain skills, though. Like, not like we can't give them flurry and poise and all that other OP stuff. I hope don't buy from my guild joint. That was out of. That wasn't. Um, show one join my guild. Hit me up too. What you need? You know what I'm saying? What you need? That's my girlfriend account. <laughs> Big dick OG. Anyways, yeah. Let's see. Let, let me show y'all what she's doing. Co-op. You know, I'm gonna let Barground die. I'm gonna just let it go auto. Let him die. And um, see how what she can do, man. I like. She's an amazing character, man. I love you, Luigi. I really hope Caleb add a feature to where, you know, we can get a way to add skills to characters. Because some of these characters, they really do need better skills. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the newer characters still need better skills. Like, Power Manga Yachiru, if she, they're not going to give her Frenzy, they need to give her even higher Berserk. Like, forget 60%. Make it, like, 80 to 90. Like, real close to 100 just the base, like that's not including with links, with links and stuff. Cause she ain't, she ain't hitting that hard, man. It's kind of disappointing considering she's a manga character. You would think they would make all the manga characters pretty strong. They don't gotta be all OP. Pretty strong though, you know, like to where they all can hit a decent amount of, you know what I'm saying? They they shouldn't be 10, 10, 10 hitting like feathers, man. Like just light hits though. Like what is that, man? What's that gonna do? You know, so. That's just me, though, you know. K-Lab just, man, I don't know what they be doing sometimes. I think, I don't know if they do it on purpose to try to make other characters look better or if they do it simply because, you know, they know people don't really care about the character that much and they want to make them a fun character. Like, for example, I know a lot of people 
was upset that Bianca, Blower Bianca wasn't as OP as he should have been, especially considering he had real guard training. And then he increased his own power by, you know, reconnecting with his power, Zapato. And it was like, well, this is what we get. Bianca with a shield with one of the worst soul traits in the game, according to some people. And no frenzy. So he ain't hit that hard anyway. You know, and it's like, okay, but that was a mistake on Kill part. They made one character bad. Will be like, I don't think he's bad. I think he's great. It's just, I'm talking about for the community. A lot of people were upset. They even made a petition. And it was like, that could have been prevented. All Kill had to do was just make him right, just how they made Toshiro, Sejin, and Shunsui right. They gave all of them justice. Why not Biaki? You know, so that's just me, though, you know. Um, and then they went on to round two. Kenpachi and Shikai, I mean, Kenpachi and Unahana. Okay, that once again did a, a great job for two characters. And then they, they shit on one. Like, they shit it on Power Yachu. I thought she would get flurry without question. Her Zan Pacto screams flurry. You know, she missed. She still hit you. Two hits. Two hits equals flurry. Like, it. It's just, I guess not, not in Caleb's book. Even Blower Biakia should have got flurry. I mean, Biakia is the type of person I would have thought have always would have gotten flurry due to his Zanpakuto's power. It's just, not, nah, not the Caleb. They want to give him a, a barrier, a walking vortex. They want to make him this, this lab rat, man, to test out all these new ideas they got. Even though they, they say people at the development team love Biakia. Like, if you love him, why would you not make him one of the best characters in the game? Like, he's still a great character. He's just not one of the best characters in the game. Yet, you know, they, they favor other characters. There. Where y'all true, it was no different. Like, granted, she wasn't going to be able to stand with Kapachi and Unahana anyways. It's the fact that K-Lab did her like that was the biggest deal. It was like, man... Y'all couldn't make y'all couldn't make her stronger than what she is. Like this is the limit to her power. She's just the link. Cause that's what she is. She's just the link, really. I mean, she got OP special too. It's just it's just mainly just she a link, man. That's me being real with y'all. Like you can use her for like raids and stuff. Just when it comes to the hard quests like guild quest, heritage zone, drop a zone, she not doing none of that stuff easily. She just struggle even with max link slots. <laughs> I don't see her doing that well. <laughs> I mean, cause even when Caleb did the showcase, she wasn't doing that well. So, you know. And then did we have round three manga, Ichigo, Flurry, yay. Um, the high stack in the game, yay. And then he get a spotter killer. And then he's slow. And it's like, come on, man. And then he's green. It's like, oh, my gosh. This is just all bad. It's just... Not to say that he's not a great character. He's still a great character. He's just not a hype OP character. Like, k can make some, can make all these modern characters so much better if they just did what they had to do versus trying to be different and give these characters some of these things that they give them and then not turn out how they want it to be. And Yoda Witch was one of those characters back when she came out. They could have did her better by giving her a full screen special. They gave her a pretty dope animation. And they just said, fuck the special. So, yeah. Um, that's it. Let me know what y'all think. I love this character. You might not. I do. You know, your opinion. My opinion. Um, yeah. So, that's it. Peace out.